Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Dark Queen of Kryn. We are under the sea. Singing happily. No. Um, we need to go uh, find the um, that forge that we were at. I believe it is down this way. And no, it's not that way. No, where, where am I going? There we go. Workshop with Cold Forge. You have no trouble finding the right hinge. Fantastic. Not far off, you hear rampaging dragons. Guard room, it seems empty. Stand back and keep the people away from that... from here. Dragons are... Dragons are at the store. Let's offer help. They decline your offer. Oh, I wanted to fight more dragons. I wanted more experience points. There is another place that we can go that we might be able to get experience points, so I think we'll go do that. This door has been clawed up by dragons. Go on. Yes! A common room. Dragons are here! Go ahead and cast a lightning bolt. Oh crap. I didn't realize that there were two. That would have that would have really screwed me up. Well, let's uh See how that goes. Whee! Nineteen. What do we have that we can cast? Let's go with magic missile. That might be enough to kill it. Nope. Probably not. Not quite. All right. One from her will be. Good. We're good. No treasure. 4,000 experience points, though. That's very nice. Wait a second. My map doesn't show that. My map shows a wall right there. Interesting. If I had known that, <laughs> I could I could have uh, um, gone another way to get in here. That's a little annoying. Oh well. Okay, not much there. Alright, well, let's head back up this way. And actually, let's head back this way. This is easier. They've brought the hinge! The elves unblock the door. Soon the door is as strong as ever. Come inside, Outlanders, and shelter with us. Sure. Doors unlocked. The elves welcome you into the safe hall. Lysian swims up to you, shaking his head. Blood mists through his torn armor. Doesn't look like he's wearing much armor there. Unless, of course, this, what, giant clam is supposed to be armor? I don't know. Never have I seen sea dragons so fierce. They seem determined to kill us all. I trust you have had a boring time here in the safe hall? Agree? No! You tell them no, and other elves rush to explain. Prince Lysian, they saved my children. They saved many of our people. They looked to our palace guards. They found my mother. They were a big help. They helped us fix the safe hall door. They defended our safe hall. Yeah, so basically that'll be a list of all the stuff you've done. Lysian is amazed. You're out of your element, yet you have done well. I bow to you. He does. Fantastic. Yay, gain more experience. Then he looks around as if for something missing. Captain Deonor is not with you? He is not hurt? Then remembrance floods his face, and deadly fear drains, of, drains it of color. He is in the palace! I had forgotten that! And I was going to take you to him when the dragons attacked us. 
Now I cannot go, he sags a little, nor have I any warriors to spare. You'll have to go yourselves. Find him, heal him if you can, and bring him to the safe hall until he, until we have ended this threat. Elves come and take the wounded Lizian away. Warden comes forward. Danor was in the prince's chamber when the attack began. Gods be with you. What is he doing there? Do they have sick rooms and stuff for that sort of thing? Yep, let's go ahead and leave. Do -do 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 -do. Marauder of the Deep! Who knows? Oh dear. Oh good. There we go. Everything's okay when all gets go. <laughs> Dragon Psh. Dragons don't make me laugh. Stab death. Ha <laughs> uh, I don't wanna go that way. I wanna go this way. Let's pound on this door. Yes, I would like to train. Ooh, level 11 cleric and level 12 magic user. Yes, indeed. What do we get? Let's learn mass invisibility. Ooh, shoot, she didn't have cone of cold. Damn it. Oh, well. Yep. <laughs> Let's go with mind blank. Okay. I if we'll get another attack here, because I would really like to get the other item other than the scimitar. The scimitar is worthless to me. It's plus three. I'd much rather get the uh, item, damn it. Aw, phooey. Alright, well, let's uh, see what, we, what new spells we can learn. Keep. Let's rest first. Get all the stuff that we've already used. Nope. Nope. Ooh. Alright. Two first level mage spells, huh? That's quite a few. Uh, what is she? All she has is magic missiles. Okay. So get an enlarge and... Magic Missile, I guess. Second level Cleric. Let's go with Snake Charm. There are snakes, so it should work. Alright, fourth level Magic User Spell. Go with an Ice Storm. And a fifth level. Unfortunately, I missed out on the. Uh, um, Cone of Cold, so I'll get a Fire Touch. And 6th level Cleric, go with Blade Barrier. And that's it. Okay. How about for you? Ooh. Meteor Swarm won't do much here, so let's get uh, Power Kill. And let's get Mind Blank. Just check everyone else. Okay. Go ahead and rest for a while, and we're all done. Okay. Yep. Let's go ahead and leave. And head back to the palace. Let's see if I can easily find my way there. Yeah, thanks for warning me. Thanks for telling me. I would rather actually fight the dragon. Thank you very much. Actually, you know what? Let's check something first. An elvish temple. Oh, okay. Muttering voices, they suddenly hush. Devil men of the deep! I didn't think this uh, encounter was going to happen yet. Take a look.
flip. So this happened later. No, oh, okay. No, it happens now. All right. Let's see. What do we have? So Hagen's. Yeah, not many. I really don't like these uh, combat icons. Actually, I mean, art quality wise, they're not bad, but they just don't look like what they should look like. And that is disappointing. Whee! Oh dear, did you all just die? I think you did. Well, I guess we'll have to uh, play with you guys a little bit. Contest! Whose lightning bolt goes off first? Aw, oh, yours. Alright, let's test this out. Oh, <laughs> and yeah, it does have a nice storm range. One hit point. Well, there's some overkill. Nope, oh, don't need to continue the battle. Thanks, though. Not a whole lot of experience points. That's a rather nice... It, it, and I, ha I have not commented on the, uh, um, excuse me, the uh, combat map. This is rather nice. Daggers and tridents. Let's go ahead and detect magic, just for the hell of it. They are not magical. How pathetic. Nope. Royal bedroom. A figure slumps from behind the door. Captain Deonor. He can barely speak. Talog, he whispers. The Saigon stolen sea dragon. He pants. Eggs. He was here looking for treasure. Spoke of eggs. He slumps. He can say no more. What do you do? Let's heal him. Party cast cure light wounds. Yes. Because he really has enough hit points that that makes a difference. Strangely, the spell has no effect. Captain Daenor is under some powerful protection spell. Uh, what kind of protection spell would prevent... It seems kind of nonsensical for that... Whatever. You'll have to carry him. Oh, darn. But he is so heavy. Let's go this way. Oh, I can't go this way. I thought there was a door there. What did that say? A royal bedroom. Okay, but it's apparently not uh, the royal bedroom. Captain Danor stirs, and you pause for a moment. His eyes open. Chrissia, he murmurs. Chrissia. Realize he is calling his sister. In a moment, she responds. Vision forms of her. She is standing near a portal. There are flames all around. No, she hisses, but not to Danor. You sense the mind of someone reaching to her through the portal. With inescapable speed, the mind reaches her, jumps into Danor's eyes, and regards you. The gaze, the gaze upon you misses no detail. Ah, the mind whispers, hear us good at last. You hear chains, oh. Oh, okay. I'll have to figure out what voice I want to do for that. Then a draconian screams at Chrissia, and the link is broken. Reason returns to Daenor's face, and with it, fear. Must save her, he breathes, then once again is asleep. Oh no! A dragon is cruising nearby! Whatever shall we do? Marauders of the Deep! Oh, so, oh that's not a snake. That's another thing that shouldn't exist here. Oh my god. Two eyes of the deep. I can't remember exactly what their powers are. Let's go ahead and yell. Aw, oh, only that one wants to kill Moonshadow? Um, let's go with... Another lightning bolt. Ow. Probably shouldn't have moved him there. Oh, oh well. Whee! Ooh, good. C 
Sea Snake killed. Magic Missile? Yes, I should kill him. Whee! Continue battle? Nope. No treasure. Captain Danor staggers out of hiding and collapses again at your feet. Oh, how convenient. Let's pound on the door. The elves welcome you into the safe hall. Elves rush forward to bear Danor up. They lead you to where Lysian is resting. It's nice that he got moved to this one. Lysian is relieved to see you. Again, I see I need not have worried. What of Captain Danor? Hearing his name, Danor opens his eyes. In a hushed voice, he recounts his experiences. This is recorded as Journal Entry 33. Oh, joy. I have to do a whole journal entry in that voice. Journal Entry 33. Tal Hook. I woke. Everyone was gone. Something was wrong. I hid under the bed. Soon some sea devils came in. One was swimming around and around the room, proclaiming to the others where he would place his possessions. Then he came to when he came to rule. The others called him Lord Prince Talhook. Then a sea dragon arrived. I could not understand his talk, but Talhook could. You will get your eggs back when the, when the elves are under my command, he said. Not before. Obey me, or I will cook your progeny. After the dragon left, the sea devils all snickered. Ho, oh, ho, ho. Well... Lysian's webbed fingers clench in anger. Prince Talhook has betrayed us! Oh, no crap. What do you expect of a group called Sea Devils? Another elf warrior speaks up. This explains the mindless cruelty of the sea dragons. They are fighting for their children. Lysian is thoughtful. We cannot hope, uh, hope to find Talhook. It is a big ocean. But I suspect I know where he is keeping the eggs. My people have reported strange happenings in the old city of Selenost. In particular, there is an old suite there, filled with air, that used to harbor outlander guests long ago. Lately, evil beings seem to be living there. They are land creatures of a type deadly to us, but fate has sent us land creatures of our own. You! If you are willing, go to Selenost and recover the sea dragon eggs. Once they are returned, the sea dragons will leave us alone. Then we can move against the fiend Talhook and make our city safe once more. Oh yes, I almost forgot... Your deep sea spell must be lifted to breathe air again. He pulls a small shell from a pouch. This is a Krylokon, an echoing shell. He speaks strange words into the Krylokon. It has recorded two deep sea spells. Command it to speak when you reach the air chamber, and it will lift the spell upon you. Command it to speak again when you have the eggs, and again you will breathe underwater. He hands you the Krylokon. To reach Selenos, travel east, then south. Long tunnel leads to the ruined city. We have no choice but to defend ourselves and entrust you with this duty. Perform it, and we will gladly transport you to the land of Talidus. Okay. Well then, we have a new quest. Let's get our spells back. And we'll save. And I guess we'll have to go ahead and do that. I'd really like to get that other item. Another attack, please. No, no attacking. Shucks. Alright. Yep, we'll leave. I guess I'm stuck with the uh, scimitar. Oh, joy! Let's see if this works. Yes! Only worked on one of them, though. Cruel blow. Missed me. Uh. Let's see. She has snake charm. Those snakes are intelligent enough to be, uh, to do that? I'm kind of surprised. Oh, good. Oh, good. Double plus good. Uh. <laughs> uh. 
The spell is useful again! Of course, now I need to go back in here and rest again. Yells welcome you into the safe hall. Eat and rest! The hall warden urges you. Did you find the tunnel to Selenost? Nope. Go east from here to the wide passageway with arches and gardens. Then go south, twice through the double gates, to enter the wide tunnel. The tunnel leads inexorably to Selenost. The air chamber is in a room somewhere to the west. Okay. I think I got it the first time. And I got a map. Two maps, actually. Got the one in the Adventurer's Journal and the one in the Clue Book. I just came back to rest. Do, 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 do. Oh joy, more Marauders of the Deep. Well, this is just one. He didn't last long. <laughs> oh man, I love making short work of those things. Okay, here we are in the passageway. This is a very long passageway. I wonder if I can area of you. Nope. So it's very long. It's pretty straight, although they throw some of these kinks in here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure there's nothing really. There are doors here. A snake alerts you to danger! What kind of danger? It's just a snake. What do we got? Ooh, I have the... D oh, crap. Okay. Well, then. Those are new, those are new monsters. Giant squid. Lightning bolt time. Whee! <laughs> Let's go ahead and yell at them. Go with another uh, lightning bolt. Oh, don't move. Oh, you moved. You bastard! What do we got? 20, 25, 20, and I can't tell. Let's target that one. Ooh, nice! So much fun. I found no treasure. Got quite a bit of experience, though. A storeroom in the long passageway. Can I fix? Can I rest? Nope. Apparently not. Snakes strike from among the anemones. Oh, well, we'll see another new enemy. Giant anemone! Oh my lord, those are a lot. That is quite a few of them. Now, let's introduce them to my good friend Lightning Bolt. Do you have Snake Charm? You don't have Snake Charm. I should have gotten some. Oh well. Well, that yell didn't work too well. I'd kind of rather take out those uh, anemones. Let's see how that goes. Might just hit the three of them. I don't know. No? Okay, good. Didn't kill them. I'm kind of annoyed. Hmm, she only has one snake charm, though. Good. Good. Oh, they regenerate. Nice. Lovely. Did 
don't really move much either. Ow. Ow. I forgot about that. Surprised that works with a bludgeoning weapon. Ow! Crap. Alrighty. Oh, good. They can come back, too. Ow. There we go. Well, that'll be fun. Ooh, that's a lot of experience points, though. Alright, so resting nuts... Oh, an ambush. Jeez, two steps. Give me a break. Alright, what do I got? A whole bunch of snakes. Mostly. Well, use up another lightning bolt. Because why not? And we'll use up another lightning bolt here. With her. Actually, let's take out these snakes. If I can. Not quite. Let's take out these two down here. Ooh, well, no, I think I'll hit that one. Oh, good. No, 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 no. That would not be smart. Yeah, let's go with the magic missile. Soften that one up a bit. Kill that one. Kill that one. Don't die from poison, please. Ah, oh, good. Stunned it. How did that work? I stunned it. It should have, like, cut it off right there. Uh, Die. Thank you. Uh, Thank you. I want to find some place to rest. Okay, we're heading south now. The ruined city of Selenost. Well, at least we made it here. Okay. There's not a whole lot to do right here. Let me check to see where I need to go. There's two places to go. But I don't think I need to go to one of them just yet. If at all. This room has an upshaft in its center. A silvery surface ripples across it. Air! Climb the wall to the air chamber above? E no. No. Let's not do that just yet. Just be on the safe side. Yes! Climb out of the well, onto a marble floor. Water sloshes in a well here. Dive in? No. Something is wrong. You cannot breathe. Command the Krylocon to speak? Yeah, we, we're going to be able to do that without speaking, too, you know? Without breathing, being able to breathe. Lizian's voice emerges, intoning powerful words. Yay! Actually, let's hold off. I'll go ahead and end the video here. We'll pick it up in the next episode, and I'll see you then. As we explore this... Uh, Special area just for land dwellers. See you then.